And they chant, light the beam here in Sacramento. And they're going to do just that. Two great friends, Mike Brown and Steve Kerr. He's on his way towards Chris Haynes. And let's no offseason. It's gonna be more interesting <laughs> than the one in Golden State. Flat out, they got Molly Walk in that first playing game against Sacramento. Uh, and they're now in a position where Clay Thompson is a free agent, Gary Payton has a player option. Dario Saric is a free agent, and Chris Paul's salary is non-guaranteed, so they can't cut him for basically no pon no penalty. This team doesn't own their first-round pick this year, so there's not a ton of obvious avenues for them to get better. So I'm going to pose the question to you. If you're the Warriors GM, if you are Mike Dunleavy, Clay Thompson comes and sits down in your office. If he wants $25 million a year, pick up the mic for Clay, <laughs> Clay Thompson, right? He wants what a, a max contract for him would probably be like in the 40s or something like that. Let's say Clay comes in and he said, I'm going to take a pay cut. 20, $27 million a year. That's what he wants. 27 M's. I'm Clay Thompson, bro. I've been with the Golden State Warriors from the get go. Me, I Steph, know. and Draymond. This is the, the original, uh, man. He just wants 27 brothers. M's. Are yep. you giving Clay Thompson $27 million a year? Get ready to learn Chinese, buddy. Guangdong Tigers. <laughs> Ni hao! Ni hao! Ni hao! <laughs> You're cooked, bro. <laughs> You're out of there, buddy. That's not happening. Not in this organization. That's not <laughs> happening, bro. <laughs> that video where he on the phone. <laughs> Ni hao! <laughs> Every bro. time I see that one, it cracks me up, bro. Get ready to learn Chinese, buddy, because you're out of here. And I'm telling you that right now. 27 M's, not around what, here, bro. What 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 contract value do you think seems fair for Clay right $10 now to stay in Golden State? Ten? That's less than a mid. You just shot contract. 0 for 10 in the playoffs and scored a donut, bro. Not even the playoffs, in the play in and scored donut, bro. You're yeah. done. There's no like, bro. He's he's absolutely cooked. He's absolutely washed. And I feel bad because I think Clay is a good is a nice guy. You know, part of the dynasty. You know, obviously was huge to them winning championships. Like his impact cannot be um uh, understated. Like his, his impact was huge. He was very very important to the dynasty. And none of this should anything that happens from either like when he was bad to anything after this should take away from anything that he did like to win them championships. But with that being said, you're cooked, bro. Like, we're not done. You can go. I'm sorry. You're, you're fine. Your services are no longer needed here. So I don't think he's bringing anything of value at this point. He's not the defender he used to be. Granted, like, obviously the injuries were the big factor in that. That's not completely his fault. But if you tell me you're going to go over 10 in the play-in, bro, what are you doing on this court right now, bro? What are you What are you doing on this court? And your shots, like, because you're still shooting as if you're the old Clay. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying you're still shooting the same shots as if you know you're the old Clay. So you're know, bringing me nothing of value, and it's just honestly, it's how stuff works. It's that's that's how dynasties and stuff works. Like, what's a? I mean, I shouldn't say that because there's been some dynasties like Jordan's Bulls. Jordan retired after a championship. Um was another one i can't remember off the top of my head but a lot of, honestly some dynasties end like on top a little bit but mm -hmm. if you just kind of try to keep it going and going and going and going eventually like it's, it's gonna it run out. out yeah so to me if i'm the warriors clay's not gonna be back here next year do i i, I don't know a way that they because you, st you still want to maximize Steph, right? You still right. – obviously, Steph wants to win. He literally said it. He's like, I just – he asked about the Draymond and Clay coming back. He's like, I just want to win, which means – Point back. That's, that's, as clear, right. that's as clear as a message if I've seen Steph send to the front office of, like, I don't care what y'all got to do. Fix this, bro. Facts. Fix this. Yeah. I need help. Because selfishly, obviously, I want Steph to, you know, say explore his other options. But yeah. realistically, 
and especially if I am Steph or a basketball fan, you want to see Steph end his end his uh his career in Golden State. Like you just, you, yeah. I just I feel like that'd only be right. Right. But uh, realistically, if you want to still build a contender, besides like the one off miracle chance of like a superstar disgruntled, I want to specifically go to the Warriors type of thing. You're not realistically building a, a championship roster next season. I don't. I don't see it happen because I don't see a clear way that it happened. Unless if Kaminga oh. takes a superstar leap, you could bring Draymond bra- back. He still holds down the defense. He still anchors the but defense. He's locked up. He's on. He signed an yeah. extension already. Oh, he, oh yeah, he did. He did. So yeah, Draymond and I'm fine with that. Like Draymond still when he's on the court, Draymond is fine. You know, he yeah. adds a few. He's back. He was just, just keeping his hands to himself. <laughs> that that's fact. When he's not like actively trying to murder someone on the court, like he's fine. <laughs> Basketball wise, Draymond is still bringing you. Tons of value on the court. Um, you need to get size. You guys are way too small. But either way, like I said, I just I don't see a world with their their championship level team. It's next year specifically. I just don't see it, see that happening. But Clay, regardless, you're not back here, buddy. I'm sorry, you're out of there. Yep. Uh, and I just double checked it. His max contract the Warriors can offer him is a four year, two hundred twenty one million dollar <laughs> extension. So that would be that would be fifty. Five million dollars a year, buddy. Uh, you might not get fifty-five dollars from me, bro. That's not <laughs> happening. <laughs> That's not happening, bro. Whatsoever. <laughs> um, Clay's already come out and said that he, or, or reports have come out and said that he would be willing to take less to stay I with bet. Golden State. I, I bet. I sure hope so. And you, and um, everybody is always down to say that after they play trash. And then they put up a stinker. Hey, yo, by the way, I'll listen, I'll take the pay cut. Yeah, no, you at this point you have no choice but to take a pay yeah. cut if you want to come back. So don't try to put it out now, like to get out in front of it, like look, look at me, I'm being the team player. Because if he dropped, if he was like he because he was playing well, if he dropped 40 in this game and they lost, he was like, Look, I'm still, you know, I'm still clay. I still want my money. But now that he put up the stinker, I'll yeah. take the pay cut, guys. Come on, bro. <laughs> Um, yeah, so from what I've read, there's really three options. Obviously, they um, they bring him back on a short term deal or just one that's obviously much smaller than fifty five million dollars a year, something closer to the 20 ish range, I would imagine. Um, there's always the option for them to do a sign and trade. I that almost feel that would a i think you have to have clay sign off on that and just b i can't imagine golden state's fan base reacting to like them trading him like him leaving in free agency i already can't imagine but them trading him i will say though warriors fans are absolutely done with clay like if you hear warriors fans talk about clay at this point they all say the same thing they're like you know we love you what you did for us you blah 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 but at this point, present day, like, bye. Like, they're kind of done with him. So, I don't – to me – I've seen a mix, though. I've seen fans who are, like – they they don't – like, they just do not want to see him go, no matter the circumstances. But, obviously, that that goes back to him coming back on, like, a $20 million deal versus a $55 million deal. But if you ask those fans, like, all right, Clay – Actually, no, because he said he'll take the pay cut. Yeah, I know. I, I see what you're saying. You know, they that's just the fandom in you. Like, because, yeah, don't get me wrong. If this everything was just great to where like they were still playing at a great level, obviously, you don't, you never want to break up that core. Like, right. You want them all to retire as Warriors. But when it gets to a point where the play is, is lessening, and, but you're, st- you still, obviously, Clay still wants to play. Like, Clay, Clay doesn't want to retire. You got to make those tough decisions. It's if yeah. you guys still want to win. Because if, if Steph was like, because I put it this way, if Steph was, you know, washed or like not playing as great and the the choice the choice was blow it all up, give it to everybody or just like let him ride it out, like you just let him ride it out because you just keep them all as warriors. But it's like the problem is Steph is still here. Clay is like down here. So you kind of got to make tough decisions. Mm-hmm.